Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. They were reading in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 11. When Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the seed royal. But Jehoshaphat, the daughter of King Joram, sister of Ahaziah, took Joash, the son of Ahaziah, and stole him from among the king's sons which were slain, and they hid him even him and his nurse, in the bedchamber from Athaliah, so that he was not slain. And he was with her hid in the house of the Lord six years, and Athaliah did reign over the land. And the seventh year Jehoiada sent and fetched the rulers over hundreds with the captains and the guard, and brought them to him into the house of the Lord, and made a covenant with them, and took an oath of them in the house of the Lord, and showed them the king's son. And he commanded them, saying, This is the thing that ye shall do. A third part of you that enter in on the Sabbath shall even be keepers of the watch of the king's house. And a third part shall be at the gate of Sir, and a third part at the gate behind the guard. So shall ye keep the watch of the house, that it be not broken down. And two parts of all you that go forth on the Sabbath, even they shall keep the watch of the house of the Lord about the king. And ye shall come past the king round about, every man with his weapons in his hand. And he that cometh within the ranges, let him be slain. And be ye with the king as he goeth out, and as he cometh in. And the captains over the hundreds did according to all things that Jehoiada the priest commanded. And they took every man his men that were to come in on the Sabbath, with them that should go out on the Sabbath, and came to Jehoiada the priest. And to the captains over hundreds did the priests give King David's spears and shields that were in the temple of the Lord. And a guard stood, every man with his weapons in his hand, round about the king, from the right corner of the temple to the left corner of the temple, along by the altar and the temple. And he brought forth the king's son, and put the crown upon him, and gave him the testimony. And they made him king, and anointed him. And they clapped their hands, and said, God save the king. And when Athaliah heard the noise of the guard and of the people, she came to the people into the temple of the Lord. And when she looked, behold, the king stood by a pillar, as the manner was, and the princes and the trumpeters by the king, and all the people of the land rejoiced and blew the trumpets. And Athaliah rent her clothes and cried, Treason, treason. But Jehoiada the priest commanded the captains of the hundreds, the officers of the host, and said unto them, Have her forth without the ranges, and him that followeth her kill with the sword. For the priest had said, Let her not be slain in the house of the Lord. And they laid hands on her, and she went by the way by which the horses came into the king's house, and there was she slain. And Jehoiada made a covenant between the Lord and the king and the people, that they should be the Lord's people, between the king also and the people. And all the people of the land went into the house of Baal, and brake it down. His altars and his images brake they in pieces thoroughly, and slew Matin the priest of Baal before the altars, and the priest appointed officers over the house of the Lord. And he took the rulers over hundreds, and the captains, and the guard, and all the people of the land, and they brought down the king from the house of the Lord, and came by the way of the gate of the guard to the king's house. And he sat on the throne of the kings, and all the people of the land rejoiced. And the city was in quiet. They slew Athaliah with a sword beside the king's house. Seven years old was Jehoash when he began to reign. Well, we see in this chapter, <laughs> as if we hadn't seen it before. This is a bloody time. You're talking about people that have no regard for other folks. Here we see a, 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 a translation or a, a commentary or anyhow in the reading of a woman that had killed all of her grandchildren, all of the... the uh, get if you would of her son whenever he was killed well she jumped up and 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 killed everybody that was that might be a ruler that came from him this was her own grandchildren and took over the rulership of the kingdom evil people evil people
that's really all I can say about that. It's just, just evil. Uh, this was a sorry time. Yet, through all of this, if you put all of these chapters together, if you read all of this, if you listen to this whole series, you'll find out the most important thing in all of this is that God is in control and that God has a plan and that plan will be implemented. It doesn't really matter whether you believe it or whether you don't in, in this sense that I'm talking about now. You don't have to believe in gravity. You can say it's false. A lot of people are saying Christianity is false. A lot of people are saying that all gods are alike. That's a false teaching, and it's going to lead people to fall by the way. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. If you don't believe in gravity, climb up on the house and jump off. I guarantee you, you'll wind up on the ground. That's a guarantee. That same truth, that may be a, 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 a stupid example. It's the only one I can think of at the moment. But it's the same way with God. A lot of people are saying today that, that uh, everybody's worshiping the same God. That's not true, friends. That's not true. That's a false claim in order to uh, allow people to contain control of you to get control of you, power over you. Islam and Christianity are not serving the same God. The people that worship Buddha, the Hindus, they're not serving the same God. All of the people that they worship are dead. Our God and His Son, Jesus Christ, are alive and well today. They're not instructing you to go out and kill everybody that doesn't believe. I'm not instructing you to go kill your neighbor if you don't agree with him. It's ridiculous. Our God is a God of peace. In spite of all this, understand all of these killings, all of these, all of these people that die here, there's a men that are doing that. Okay? It's hard to go through these. It's hard for me to go through these. But understand, my God is a God of love and a God of peace. And whether you believe him or not, he will reign in the end. He will reign in men's hearts. The Bible says that every knee shall bow in that day. And this is an economic time at the time of the recording of these videos. Uh, it's a terrible, terrible time. And it's going to get worse, friends. You need to understand that there's a storm coming and you need to get closer to God right now while there's time. God bless you. I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer here, but there's peace in God. Do you need peace in your life? Trust in him and you can have it. God bless you. Have a blessed day.